All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'll give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakadash, the honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. I'm the brother Shema Allah from the GMS Houston Camp, and this is going to be a, um, basically like an exhortation. You know, um, going into 1 Thessalonians 5, and you know how that the Most High doesn't have evil intentions for us. All right. You know, because the Most High gave us the truth, He blessed us with His wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to depart from evil and depart, you know, from darkness and to enter into that light, which is Yahweh right? Through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shah. Right? The Most High led us to Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah made a statement that um, no man cometh unto me, lest the Father will send me draw him. And I will raise him up. So, basically, it's a good chance that you are one of them. Or you are one of those men. Or you are one of those people that are destined for salvation. And you got to believe in that wholeheartedly. Out of all the Israelites, the Most High gave you the 100% doctrine. So... It's like, you got a good chance of making it. Through all this wickedness that's in this world, through all this, this BS that's going on amongst the Israelites as well, amongst all the unbelievers, the scoffers, the ones that, the, you know, the ones that the Mosai rejected. The Mosai accepted you and gave you this knowledge. Now, if you're going to endure to the end, only the Most High, you know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah knows. You know, but pray and hope for that. And believe in that. And believe that the Most High got you and that the Most High, you know, is going to guide you, protect you. And that's all we can, that's all we can do. We prisoners of hope. That's what the scriptures say. But, that faith got to be strong in you to keep you going, to keep you going through adversity, to keep you going through your troubles, knowing that, hey, you could be one of them men. And you shouldn't let anything, you know, you know, sway you in any other direction. Right, because in this world, before this truth, man, we were into, we were in death. All right, we were into things that were unpleasing to the Heavenly Father, but hey, you know, if you truly live in the, the 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 life, you know, um, a righteous and godly life through Yahweh Shah, of course, then we have nothing to worry about. This is First Thessalonians five and nine. For the Most High had not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So the Most High has not appointed us to wrath, right? To be destroyed, to be destroyed, you know, like the two thirds of our people, right? Or the wicked of our people will be destroyed. The things that are prepared for them, it's a good chance that the Most High ain't, ain't prepared that for us, because we in this, we in this faith, we in this truth, and then you endure to the end. You ain't got to worry about that. The most, I said, all these things are created for the wicked. Right? The plagues, the famine, death, destruction, pestilence. All these things are created for the wicked. When the flood came, why did the flood come? In the time of Noah. Because of wickedness. And the wicked was destroyed and the righteous was saved. The Most High always delivered, you know, his men that had their minds set on him. He delivered them from destruction. Think about Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah, which we are a spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah today. He got him up out of there and destroyed it. They call him just Lot, right? A righteous man. So... There are benefits 
Back to serving the Lord. Perks. <laughs> and the ultimate one will be salvation. But says the Most High has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shasha, the Most High, and appointed us for destruction, but to be saved by His Son. And there ain't nothing better than that. And that's just something you just gotta, you just gotta believe in. Man, that Yahweh Shah is coming to save me. Through all your troubles, whatever I'm going through, I mean, whatever you're going through, whatever I'm going through, all right, just keep that in your mind. Hey, Yahweh Shah, he's going to come and change all of this shit. Even when times get bad, as far as Jacob's trouble, there's no man, hey, man, Yahweh Shah, man, he's going to be on the way, man. Yahweh Shah, you know, Yahweh Shah got me. Even Psalms 91 speaks about the angels, how that shit bears thee up. All right, basically protect you from from danger, from harm. You got to believe in that. Okay. But this is um, Jeremiah 29 and 11. It says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. So the most size thoughts towards us is thoughts of peace. That peace was made through that sacrifice of the lamb. That sacrificial offering. That peace offering. Yahweh Shai represents all of that. Yahweh Shai created that peace between us and the Heavenly Father. Right, you can read about that in Ephesians, the book of Ephesians. Right. You know, all throughout the scriptures, Hebrews, you know, the Lord was that sacrifice right, that died right, for the nation, that died for the Israelites. So that peace has been restored unto the elect because we know all our people are not going to believe in Yahweh Shah. So. That peace has been restored unto his elect. And the Most High is basically, you know, looking at them with an end, right, for good, right? He basically has it on his mind to bless them with the kingdom, bless them with salvation, bless them with all manner of good things. You know, that we can't even fathom in our minds. Things that we can't even think of. Things that he didn't even program our brain to be able, you know, to understand and to comprehend and to be able to imagine because it's going to be so much greater than that. But he said thoughts of peace and not of evil. You got to believe that the Lord, he ain't putting me through things to destroy me by putting you through things to destroy you. All things are for your betterment and for you to make it up out of here. For you to learn from, you know, the situation that the Lord put you in. To learn from those situations. To all these things that the Lord, the Lord is basically giving us all the tools that we need to get salvation You just gotta use them The Lord gotta put that spirit on you To use them of course But you just gotta use all these tools We got everything we need We got all the we got, we got the teachers right? We got the apostles and elders on down We got the scriptures We got the 100% doctrine We know what we gotta do So now all, this, all this that needs to be done Is just a battle with the flesh To do these things Pray, fast, you know, and hopefully you endure it to the end, you're going to be saved. But we know that you got to be of that chosen, first and foremost. All right? You got to be of the chosen. There's no way around it. You got to be of that elect. All right? But, um, 
Luke. Luke 12 and 32. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So fear not. So it starts off by saying, fear not. It's Yahweh Shah. Yeah, so a lot of things are going to happen. A lot of you're going to put in be put in a lot of uncomfortable situations, but it's all good. Don't fear. It says, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The Most High wants us to make it. He wants us to be saved. He wants us to enjoy the good things of the kingdom. And we are that seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Most High set us above all these different nations and looks at us in a particular way. He said we are the apple of his eye. So, of course, you know, he going to want to give us the kingdom. He said Israel is as a firstborn son unto him. He want to see his son, you know, set up in rulership, taken out of captivity, Enjoying the earth for what it truly is. Have everlasting life, never begin sick. Just everlasting peace. The Lord want to do this. That is why we go through the things that we go through. Now, I'm a good as, um, precept to that is Hebrews 12, like 8. Um, Starting at 9, it says, Furthermore, we... We have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live? Right? We have fathers, you know, our earthly fathers that, you know, discipline us. You know, it says for their own pleasure. Well, that's the next verse. <laughs> All right, it says, we have had fathers that disciplined us, and we respected them. And, you know, because they were our fathers. And we took heed and took that guidance. Right? And, you know, the tips, you know, and the information on all of these things that they were trying to give us because they were our fathers, we show respect unto them. But it says, shall we not be much rather in subjection to the father of spirits and live so the most size the father of spirits? So we should rather be in subjection, you know, more subjection to the heavenly father. Because the, the Heavenly Father is doing the same thing. Because he, he looks at us as a son. That's what this Hebrews 12, um, you read up a little bit, is going into that, the chastisement of the Lord. Because he looked at us as being sons. It says, For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. So, you know, you you might have, a, uh, you have fathers in Israel that discipline their sons. Um, put them through things to make them be a certain way that they want them to be. Maybe they want them to be a basketball player. Maybe they want them to be a football player. Maybe they want them to be a magician. I mean, musician. Right, you think about Jackson and the Jackson 5, their father, how hard he was on them so they can make it and be, uh, you know, superstars or whatever. Right, but he was benefiting off of that. I believe the name was Joe Joe Jackson. But the Heavenly Father's putting us through these things so we can get the kingdom, so we can benefit, so that we can profit off of it. The most I was doing this for us. All right? <laughs> the most I can do everything for us. All right? But it's not it's not really much that we can do for him except for this truth. Except for worship him. Because the Lord is in control of all things. He don't really need us. We need him. But he, you know, he's doing this so that we could, that we could be in the kingdom, man. That we could have that everlasting life. That we could have, you know, that, um, what is it? Pos that posterity. That, the word is slipping me right now. That your lineage could continue on forever. And you can create you can create your own tribe. As you can your family right, could could basically get that everlasting life through you. That your name can be set up on the planet Earth, if that makes sense.
but it says John 14 and 1. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in the most high, believe also in me. So believe in Yahweh. His name is he is is Yahweh, which means he delivered, he saved. Believe in that. Believe in his name that he's gonna live up to his name. That he's gonna live up to his word. Yahweh always constantly, you know, said that he was gonna, you know, come and save us. Things that he was gonna do. The scriptures speak about what he's gonna do for us. So you gotta believe in that. You know, everything in these scriptures happened exactly how it was written. The most I don't put none in these scriptures is not gonna come to pass. And that's why this book is alive. Because it's a, it's, it's a spirit that's dealing with this book, the, you know, the Holy Spirit. Scripture speak about not one, not one of these prophecies shall fail. Isaiah 34. Well, I, I think it believes Isaiah 34 is 16. And that basically, no other book on this earth can be compared with it. So these words, you know, will come to pass because they are backed by the Heavenly Father. They are backed by Yahweh, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by the Spirit. He said, my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you in my father's house are many mansions. So, you know, we know that, you know, in the, you have a uh, a never-ending universe of planets out there. This is the most high's house. He said, earth is my footstool and heaven is my throne. So, we know... <laughs> Hey man, it's 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 a lot of things out there that Yahweh Shah is willing is waiting to show us. He said, I go to prepare a place for you. Ultimately it was prepared by him making that sacrifice. By him, you know, shedding his blood for us. Right? That's how it was prepared. Because all things are now set up to happen because of him. All of these things are going to come to pass because of him. When we said that the kingdom is prepared for you, it's because of Yahweh. It says, And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, that you may be also. So you say, Hey man, if I'm doing all this, bro, I'm going to come back. If I'm doing all this for you, I'm going to come back and get you. So the Lord put his life down, he sacrificed himself, went through the hell, went through the pain. If you're if it's a lake, then he's going to, you know, let you, let you suffer. You think he don't got you? You think he ain't going to guide you? Give you what you need until he returns? Even then when Jacob's trouble, he don't look out. <laughs> he ain't go through all that pain and suffering for nothing. You know, his elect uh, are constantly on his mind. It's me read John the 17th chapter. So he prayed, hey, man, I want them to be with me. All right? You know, hey, man, that's really the lesson, man. I'm about to get up in this gym. Um, yeah, man, I hope this, this lesson was edifying and comforting. All right, to you all.